this is our third vintage open wheeler mod find out if this is as good as the other ones right here right now Greetings pedalheads and welcome to romrom.net, the channel sharing the joy of sim racing and to it's a mod mod world where we test different mods for different sims to see if they add to our enjoyment. Today I'm gonna test the Auto Union C from 1937, thus filling a trifecta of vintage open wheelers. Remember that I tested the Bugatti and the Voisin and just a tidbit of information, Auto Union was a group of different different automakers where Mercedes was part of it. The company per se became part of the Audi group, which now of course is Volkswagen. Before I start the test, remember that if you want to be informed about new videos, click subscribe and also click on the bell and become part of the ever-growing Rumrum family. Compare this steering wheel to the one you have in front of you when you're racing and I think you'll notice the difference. The labels are well done and I expect that they are in the same position and have the same look and feel as in the original because it feels quite detailed. There's even one mystery plaque. Funny. Does anybody know what these here are? Do they have something to do with giving more pressure to the brakes or something like that? And this tube here I suppose is for the hydraulics of the brakes. Sadly, there is no motor in the motor. And as you can see while you're driving, the RPM gauge works. These are the rear view mirrors. Don't know how racing is gonna be with these. The car tends to oversteer on the first and second gear, especially on high revs, while all in all it understeers heavily. Steering is a little bit off, but I have a hunch that the original car was already like that and that the simulation is accurate. It's hard to steer because it's soft, it doesn't react directly to what you're doing and it makes keeping the car straight or turning it difficult. The force feedback is acceptable, but with the behavior of this car it's difficult difficult to know how good it really is. The feeling of understeer was there, but there may be a timing issue as I got the feeling that the visuals, for example the tires jumping on the tarmac, did not correspond with the force feedback. During the test I thought the mod was exaggerating the speed of this car, but our research showed me that this car was able to reach 340 kilometers per hour which is a lot now and it was a lot more in 1937 and in this car yikes one thing is sure you will have to learn how to drive this car the steering the throttling most especially the brakes which are quite soft and need a lot of well-measured pressure to work without locking the wheels and a long way until they've brought the speed down. You'll find yourself in situations where you know you're going to crash and can't do anything about it. I found getting back the control of the car in such situations to be almost impossible. Be also advised, this car drinks 10 liters per lap, but it has a big tank anyway. Content manager tells me that this is the sound of the Maserati 250F from 1954 that is already in Kunos. Content manager has been wrong before, but it has also been right before. I don't know, make of it what you want. This car looks very good, but it's difficult to drive. The look is excellent and quite detailed. I felt as if I could reach out my hands and touch metal. For the look, therefore, I give it 5 eyes out of 5. 
If this is an original sound design, I give it 5 years out of 5, but it may not be original according to Content Manager. I may be seeing the past more rosy than it was, but I found this mod and this car more difficult to drive than the Voisin and the Bugatti. And there were those odd timing issues between visuals and force feedback. I think the force feedback is off in parts so i give it four wheels out of five this is not a mod for beginners this car is difficult to drive and you have to handle it carefully it may be lots of fun though to drive this car with the bugatti the voisin and other vintage open wheelers that are out there and that we're going to test in the future as i did with voisin and bugatti i can recommend this mod because it's lots of fun it's a blast from the past and i'm pretty sure that only a minority a minute minority of us will ever be able to drive any of these cars you can check the voisin and the bugatti through the links up and to the right and other than those we have more videos sharing the joy of sim racing check the playlist to the left or the video to the right until next time save fuel collect pickup and we'll see each other at the podium visit romrom.net to connect to fellow sim racers and sim racing fans